I call myself an inland oceanographer because we don't have an ocean here near Montana. Here we are at Sunburst Sensors World Headquarters here in Missoula, Montana. One of the challenges of doing chemical oceanography 480 miles from the ocean is getting seawater. Last time I was in Seattle, I was out there just a family vacation, and I ended up wading out to the Puget Sound with this jug. Got my pants all wet. We are part of the Wendy Schmidt Ocean Health X Prize. I'm team leader of Sunburst Sensors. Our company was founded in 1999 to study PCO2, which causes ocean acidification. We have increased CO2 in the atmosphere. It's causing a pH change in the ocean as that carbon dioxide is absorbed. The oceans are sucking up huge amounts of CO2, and as pH changes, it can disrupt the food chain. That's a very serious thing in a world where a lot of people depend on the sea for food. We developed one of the first CO2 sensors for marine use. Eight years later, we made a sensor specifically for measuring pH. This is where the magic happens. Right here is our manufacturing space. This table is sort of the center of activity and a lot of history here, just in terms of notches and cuts and drill holes. Company mascot dog. Mike and I, and Catherine, my wife and bookkeeper for Sunburst, all went to high school together. We were close friends because we're both science geeks. I was working for another instrumentation company in Seattle. Somewhat of a gamble to come back. There was only two years of funding, and if it didn't work out, then there's not a lot of mechanical engineering jobs here in Missoula, Montana. We had two children at that point and had decided that we wanted to come home to raise them. you got to roll the dice sometimes, and it worked out. The SAMI is a submersible autonomous moored instrument. SAMI pH, which is what we used in the XPRIZE, measures pH. We called this one the T-SAMI because it's made of titanium, so it's the titanium SAMI. And we called this the I-SAMI because it's inexpensive, so the inexpensive SAMI. What I really like about these is that they're so simple. Software is very easy to use and you just put the instrument in the water and you let it go and you come back and you have data. When we first started talking about doing the XPRIZE, I had already been working on miniaturizing the SAMI 2s and looking for a way to make it more inexpensive so that we could get it on a host of different platforms, not just moorings and buoys. I think it's great to have this competition just to be able to compare and look at all of those instruments that, that are out there and see how well we're measuring pH. We're going to learn a lot from this because uh, we couldn't go out on our own and throw a SAMI down to 3,000 meters and collect data. I'm pretty excited to see what happens. I mean, right now we've got the T SAMI, our instrument going down on the rosette, and in oh, about an hour or so we'll find out if it worked. We're a small company, we're trying to do a lot. Our approach requires a diversity of talents. I mean, we have to do some electrical engineering, we have to do software, there's fluidics because we've got tiny little pump, tiny little valve, there's mechanical design and pressure housings. And for better or worse, we have more moving parts than some of the other approaches. And it all has to work by itself at depths up to 3,000 meters, incredible pressure. Just a, the tiniest leak will destroy the instrument immediately. It's good when it comes up that you hear it ticking. That means it's working. <laughs> It hasn't leaked. And yeah, we'll see what happened there. It was not ticking when it came up, but it seemed to have run. So it's the first time it came up without ticking? Yeah, but it downloaded so it didn't flood. It must have just locked up at the last minute. So it's running now. We're a small company, and so we're competing against some teams who have a lot of resources, and uh, we've made a long way. So, I mean, that feels good that we've proven that with just a small team that we can do something, you know, this big.